This tube is also commonly used in general surgery. What's the name? This is Kehr's T tube. So the name of this tube, Kehr's T tube. And you must be knowing that this Kehr's T tube is used in bile duct surgeries, especially after cholecystectomy. Now just imagine that this is liver, this is gallbladder. This is bile duct and this is duodenum. We have to perform cholecystectomy. First question: What kind of incision is given on CBD? It's longitudinal or transverse? It's longitudinal. Question: Why? Because there is coaxial blood supply of CBD at three o'clock and at nine o'clock, mainly from inferior direction. If I will go for this kind of transverse incision there is division of the vessels leading to ischemia which can lead to stricture that's why what kind of incision longitudinal after giving this longitudinal incision when we are closing the incision there are two options either we can close the incision without t tube or with t tube if we are not using t tube there are high risk of leakage from the site of incision so that's why in majority of cases what we do we insert this t tube and incision is closed cholecystectomy is closed over the t tube t tube acts as a stent and healing occurs for how long we have to retain this t tube usually for 4 to 6 weeks so see the questions which are asked after cholecystectomy bile duct is closed over t tube why because of decreased risk of leakage second t tube acts as a stent so healing occurs over t tube and it is usually kept for 4 to 6 weeks usually kept for 4 to 6 weeks second we discussed in patients of cholangitis that when ercp is not available or failed ptc is not available or failed we are going for open biliary decompression and we are going to put the t tube on 7th to 10th day we are going for t tube cholangiogram if no distal filling defect is there remove the t tube if distal filling defect is there retain the t tube and after 4 to 6 weeks by berhin's technique we are going to extract the stone percutaneously so these are the various uses of kehr's t tube